To continue on with uh, PowerPoint Project 6, the next thing I'm, I'm going to do, and I should have done this earlier, is I'm going to take a second and save my project. And I'm going to save this in the same folder that my data files are located. And um, we'll see why I'm, I'm doing that later on. But I'm going to call, I'm, you can call it whatever you want. The book suggests something. I'm just going to call it PowerPoint 6. All right, now um, we'll come back and revisit why we did that in the, in later um, parts of the project. So next thing they want us to do is we're going to deal with some action buttons. Now an action button is a uh, graphic that lets you click on it and it'll take you to different parts of the uh, presentation. So for slide two, uh, what they want us to do is insert an, an action button. And the way this is done is under the insert tab, go to shapes and at the bottom of the shapes panel there are a number of action buttons they want us to go to um, and put in make sure I get the correct one the desired action button which is see if this makes sense they want us to put in the end button and draw it now when you draw this it'll be a color of red and what this will do to bring up a panel to say what the action will be and this one they want us to take it to the uh, last slide okay so we'll, we'll do that and then you can also add a sound here and although they'll have us put some sounds for slide two they want us to change the sound um, to be uh, a whoosh sound and I'm going to do this they do this in, in broken up over several steps so um, what I'm going to do actually is is move this in the corner they want us to change the color of this and if you right click you can change the fill color they want us to change it to like a light blue which is fine and then what's nice is if you get a high, uh, uh, action button set up the way you like it uh, the way you like then you can copy it and paste it so I'm going to actually do I'm going to copy this and I'm going to slide three and paste it and the only difference I'm going to do is change the sound on uh, on that that um, slot. See on on slide three, it's going to be a typewriter. So the way you change the sound, actually any aspect, is if you right click and you go to um, edit hyperlink, it brings back up this action panel. It's still going to go to the last slide, but to change the sound here, change the typewriter. And then I'll go ahead and on the third on sorry the fourth slide I'm going to paste that copied action button again and I'm going to change the hyperlink here they want us to change it to breeze okay so I will tell you that the sound is not a, a terribly important thing uh, to do matter of fact sometimes the sound could be kind of annoying on a PowerPoint presentation but just for the project they'll have us uh, do that type of, of, of idea Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is they want us to go back to um, the second slide, and we're going to actually do something with the the graphic on slide two and make that a hyperlink. And they they have us do a couple of different things um, with uh, these types of things. What we're going to do with this is on the graphic on slide two, we're going to make that a hyperlink, and we're going to actually have it hyperlink to an outside PowerPoint presentation. So um, I'm going to right click and go to hyperlink. I'm oh, sorry, I did this wrong. Let me close that again. Here's the way they want us to do this. I'm going to go to the insert tab and not hyperlink, but go to action. And when this comes up, we're going to um, have this hyperlink to, and we'll pick what the hyperlink to. Now you can go to different slides here, obviously, but actually we're going to go to an, an other PowerPoint presentation. And it should bring up your data files. If it doesn't go to your data files, go to your data files and then select additional motivation. And when that comes up, it's going to ask which slide to go to in that slideshow, slideshow presentation. So for slide two, we want to hyperlink to the um, uh, motivation um, PowerPoint and then slide one. And then hit, hit OK. Now on the we're going to do a similar but slightly different idea on the uh, fourth slide. We'll skip slide three for a second. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll click on it, go to action, hyperlink to other PowerPoint presentation, the additional motivation, 
and on here they want us to, to link to the second slide in that presentation so we'll hit OK on that so on, on slide two it'll go to the first slide of that presentation on slide four it'll go to the second slide of that presentation alright now on slide three we're gonna do something a little different a little unique we're gonna do the same idea we're gonna do an action but uh, when we go to hyperlink we are going to do something different we're going to open up another file and there in your data files is a word document that is a workout journal word document so let's select that and now whenever somebody would click on that graphic on slide three it will open up a um, uh, uh, the document, the, the journal document. Okay, to finish off this part of the, the, the uh, project, I'm going to actually, they want us to open up now that um, PowerPoint presentation on motivation. So I'm going to have that open up, and the reason being is when, let me just go back here for a second, when we hyperlink, say, from this slide, and it opens up that motivation um, PowerPoint, what they want us to do is have a, a mechanism to get us back to where we were. So to do this, what we'll do is I'm going to insert an action button here that is called return and it looks like a little curved arrow. So we'll put that down there and that will link us to the last slide that is viewed. Okay and in essence they want us to copy that like we did before and I'll put that on the other slide okay and that that now I'll save this presentation again this is saved in my data in my data files folder along with the other presentation so now if I save both of these and I run that they should work interchangeably between the, the two different um, the two different presentations.